I think the best opportunity is not to invest in multifamilies, is to invest in rescue funds. Uh, by the way, talk about too, for those who are multifamily investing, who might be in trouble, right? And might need mm -hmm. kind of a bailout. Talk about your uh, your way to help them out. And uh, I know that's, that could be very valuable for somebody, valuable for somebody listening right now. Yeah, so our industry exploded after the 2014 Jobs Act. I started investing in real estate in 2004, and until 2014, I didn't invest. I didn't have any investors. It was just my money, right? So my technology money. Um, but in 2014, the Jobs Act allowed syndication or syndicators to come in. And so an industry developed. Most syndicators have really come in since the 2017, 2018 timeframe when uh, educational programs came by. So they've never seen a bad time. They've never seen the value of multifamily go down. It's always gone up. Most of these people are shell-shocked at this point because they bought properties for $10, $15 million more than they were worth. And so today they have two options. Number one, return keys to the bank, which by the way, ends their career. If you if you return keys for a multifamily property to a bank, especially if it was a Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac loan, that is the end of your career. You can never get a Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac loan again. Uh, the other option is you work with groups like mine, which come in with what is known as rescue capital. So we come in and we capitalize your property. We inject more money into it because often there's nothing wrong with the property. As Brett said, you forgot to take a rate cap or your rate cap was set too high or you need money to buy a new rate cap. In all of these cases, the property needs to be capitalized. You don't have the money. Your investors are really angry because obviously they haven't made any money over the last two or three years because you overpaid. And so we come in and we actually rescue those properties. Now we come in in a position ahead of your investors, but at least they have a chance of getting their money back. Because today, if you hand the keys back over to the bank, they will get zero cents on the dollar. And so rescue funds like mine, Goldman Sachs just created one as well. They they tried to get me involved in that, but uh, they wanted me more as an employee than a, than a principal. So I was like, no, I'm just going to create my own. Um, so that's that's what, what you're going to hear about. Right now, today, I think the best opportunity is not to invest in multifamilies, is to invest in rescue funds because you, you get into an, a very advantageous position over all the ec existing equity. Excellent. That rescue fund would be something where you, A, you'd probably be a credit investor. And then B, essentially, it's looking for opportunistic deals that are, you know, 20% off kind of thing. And, and where you could come in is either as a joint venture to recapitalize the capital stack and be a part of that deal. If it makes, if the numbers yes. make sense, right? And That's or right. B, maybe just take it out completely. Is, is that kind of the plan, Neil? We, we have the option of doing that. Sometimes, you know, we, we look at a property and we realize that this is a good property, but the numbers are still not making sense. So what we do is we, we stay engaged. And when the keys are returned to the bank, we go knocking on that bank's door with a check. And because we were already engaged with that property, we know enough about it. We can just simply tell the bank this, here's a check. Do you want it? Right. And that bank is like, oh, great. You know, this is going to pay off my loan. I don't care about anything more than that. So remember, the bank doesn't care if the property is worth 25 million. If their loan's 17 million and a guy named Neil Bawa just happens to walk in through the door on the day that they took the keys back and he's got $17 million written right there, they'll take it because all they care about is their 17 million. <laughs> I love it, Neil. And